Hello, this is for day 86 of Bible in One Year, the Bible text, Judges chapters 1 to 3, and then Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 30. So again, this is uh, a bit late, but uh, we're catching up. So let's begin the prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you for all the blessings, all the trials that made us grow. Thank you for the guidance, the wisdom, and for everything, Lord, that you've given us, especially for the salvation. And Lord, we pray that our lost loved ones would also uh, get to know you and accept you as their Savior. And also, uh, I'd like to pray for uh, enlightenment as we read your word. Uh, forgive us, Lord, for our mistakes, our sins, our shortcomings. Help us, Lord, to become better Christians, to be more efficient and more faithful to your word, Lord. And I'd like to also pray for everyone who are uh, taking part in the ministry, who are serving you, Lord, uh, to the best of their abilities, our pastors, the missionaries, and um, the Bible school students, and the teachers, and the church members, especially the church workers, Lord. And Lord, uh, kayo po magpala sa bawat isa, gumabay, and provide po Panginoon ng mga pangangailan. Sa lahat po Panginoon, this is for in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we're going to start a new book. The Book of Judges. So, chapter 1. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites? first to go fight to fight against them and the lord said judah shall go up behold i have delivered the land into his hand and judah said unto samuel his brother come up with me into my lot that we may fight against the canaanites and i likewise will go with thee into thy lot so simeon went with him and judah went up and the lord delivered the canaanites and the parasites into their hand and they slew of them in Bezek ten thousand men. And they found a Doni Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites again and the Parasites. And Adoni Bezek fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adoni Bezek said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gather their meat under my table, as I have done. So God had requited me, and they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, and had taken it, and smitten it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. And after war the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites, that dwelt in the mountain, and in the south, and in the valley. And Judah went against the Canaanites that dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron before was Kerjat Arba. And they slew Hishai and Ahiman and Talmai. And from thence he went against the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kerjat Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerjat Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass when she came to him that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Canaanite, Moses' father-in-law, went up out of the city, of palm trees with the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah, which lieth in the south of Arad, and they went and dwelt among the people. And Judah went with Simeon and his brother, and they slew the, they slew the Canaanites that inhabited Saphat, and utterly destroyed it, and the name of the city was called Hormah. And Judah took Geza with the coast thereof, and Ashkelon with the coast thereof, and Ekron with the coast thereof. And the Lord was with Judah, and he drove out the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Hebron unto Caleb, 
as Moses said, and he expelled thence the three sons of Anak. And the children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites that inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem unto this day. And the house of Joseph they also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. And the house of Joseph sent to describe Bethel, now the name of the city before was loose. And the spies saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said unto him, Show us, we pray thee, the entrance into the city, and we will show thee mercy. And when he showed them the entrance into the city, they smote the city with the edge of the sword. But they let go the man and all his family. And the man went into the land of the Hittites and built a city, and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name thereof unto this day. Neither that did Manasseh drive out the inhabitants of Bethshean and her towns, nor Tainak and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Eblaam and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. And it came to pass when Israel was strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, and did not utterly drive them out. Neither did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwelt in Gezer among them. Neither did Sebulon drive out the inhabitants of Ketron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalol, but the Canaanites dwelt among them and became tributaries. Neither did Asher drive out the inhabitants of Akko, nor the inhabitants of Zidon, nor of Elab, nor of Axid, nor of Helba, nor of Aphek, nor of Rehob. But the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became tributaries unto them. And the Amorites forced the children of Dan into the mountain, for they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. But the Amorites would dwell in Mount Harris, in Aijalon, and in Shalbim, yet the land of the house of Joseph prevailed, so that they became tributaries. And the coast of the Amorites was from the going up to Akrabim, from the rock and upward. Judges chapter 2 And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bokim, and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt, and have brought you unto the land, which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with thee, and you shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I said, I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their God shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass, when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto the children of Israel, unto all the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voice and wept, and they called the name of that place Bokhi, and they sacrificed there unto the Lord. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnath Harris in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gash. And also all that sorry, and also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and served Baalim. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was had against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about. 
so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a warring after other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way, which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. And when the Lord raised them up judges, then the Lord was with the judge, and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For it repents of the Lord because of their groanings, by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And it came to pass, when the judge was dead, that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers, in following other gods to serve them, and to bow down unto them, they ceased not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he said, Because that his people had transgressed my covenant which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not be henceforth drive out any for answer. I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. That through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein as their fathers did keep it or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. Judges chapter 3 Now these are the nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them, even as many of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan. Only that the generations of the children of Israel might know to teach them war at the least such as before knew nothing thereof, namely five lords of the Philistines and all the Canaanites and the Sidonians and the Hevites that dwelt in Mount Lebanon from Mount Baal Hermon unto the entering in of Hamath. And they were to prove Israel by them to know whether they would hearken unto the commandments of the Lord, which he commanded their fathers by the hand of Moses. And the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, Hittites, and Amorites, and Perizzites, and Levites, and Jebusites. And they took their daughters to be their wives, and gave their daughters to their sons, and served their gods. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served Baalim and the groves. Therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of Chushan, Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia, and the children of Israel served Chush, Chushan, Rishathaim eight years. And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel who delivered them, even Othniel the son of Ganas, Caleb's younger brother. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war. And the Lord delivered Ch Jushan Rashatim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand, and his hand prevailed against Kushan Rashatim. And the land had rest forty years, and Othniel the son of Ganas died. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord strengthened, Eg strengthened Eglon, the, son of Mo the king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. And he gathered unto him the children of Am Ammon and Amalek, and went and smote Israel, and possessed the city of palm trees. So the children of Israel served Eglon the king of Moab eighteen years. But when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised them up a deliverer, Ehud the son of Gera, a Benjamite, a man left-handed, and by him the children of Israel sent a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab. But Ehud made him a dagger which had two edges of a cubit length, and he did gird it under his raiment upon his right thigh. And he brought the present unto Eglon, king of Moab, and Eglon was a very fat man. And when he had made an end to offer the present, he sent away the people that bear the present. But he himself turned again from the quarries that were by Gilgal, and said, I have a secret errand unto thee, O king, who said, Keep silence, and all that stood by him went out from him. 
And there had came unto him, and he was sitting in a summer parlour, which he had for himself alone. And Ehud said, I have a message from God unto thee, and he arose out of his seat. And Ehud put forth his left hand, and took the dagger from his right thigh, and thrust it into his belly. And the half also went in after the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade, so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly, and the dirt came out. Then Ehud went forth through the porch, and shut the doors of the parlour upon him, and locked them. When he was gone out, his servants came, and when they saw that, behold, the doors of the parlour were locked. They said, Surely he covered his feet in his summer chamber. And they tarried till they were ashamed, and behold, he opened not the doors of the parlour. Therefore they took a key and opened them, and behold, their lord was fallen down and died on the earth. And Ehud escaped while they tarried and passed beyond the quarries, and escaped unto Sarah. And it came to pass when he was come that he blew a trumpet in the mountain of Ephraim, and the children of Israel went down with him from the mount, and he before them. And he said unto them, Follow after me, for the Lord had delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. And they went down after him and took the four fords of Jordan toward Moab, and suffered not a man to pass over. And they slew Moab at that time, about ten thousand men, all lusty and all men of valor, and there escaped not a man. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest fourscore years. And after him was Shamgar the son of Enath, which slew of the Philistines six hundred men with an ox gold, and he also delivered Israel. Okay, so we do, we're done reading Judges chapters 1 to 3. We now go to Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 30. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were in ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command the stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world, in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from the hands. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out the fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glory glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty, them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, and he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him a witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, You will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also hear in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. 
But I tell you the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and great famine was throughout all the land. But all, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, and to a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Assyrian. And all day in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill, whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Alright, so we're done by uh, with the Bible reading for day 86 of the Bible in one year. So uh, there's much, not much to say about Judges 1-3. Uh, so after uh, Joshua died, so, you know, uh, again, there were times when the children of Israel uh disobeyed the lord's commandment so they were uh you know given to the enemies uh to serve other people and they did not triumph against their enemies right but whenever someone uh whenever the children of israel cries to the lord you know the lord hear hear it their cry and then he would send a deliverer or a judge to help them out and then, you know, they would be saved again. They would be uh, delivered. Uh, they would triumph against their enemies. But then, you know, it's kind of a cycle, uh, usually. So after that, you know, they would sin against the Lord again. And then God would uh, be angered. And he would deliver them into the hands of the enemies again. And then, you know, another cycle. Uh, someone They would cry to the Lord. The Lord would help them. would uh, send a deliverer again. And then after they're been delivered, after they triumph over their enemies, they would sin again. You know, so it's kind of a cycle. And um, as Christians, yeah, sometimes we do that as well. You know, we backslide, and then we would return to God, and then we would forget again, and then something would happen to us that would make us remember the Lord, and then we would go back to. Uh, him and be obedient again and faithful and then you know there would be times that we would forget how uh, great God has been for us how kind he's been how blessed we are to these children and yet there were there would be times that we would forget and we would disobey his words and you know essentially that yeah, there would be times that of course it's a cycle we would return to him and then we would forget again and then we would experience something again we cry out to the lord and seek his help and he would help us you know so uh it's kind of a cycle but in a way hopefully uh you know as christians we stay uh obedient to the lord and faithful to him hopefully okay that's the prayer and then in luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 30 i think the main picture here is uh, when he uh, spoke at the synagogue at the country where he was born, uh, they kind of disliked him because they knew him to be Joseph's son, the carpenter, and they knew him to be a carpenter as well. And so they couldn't accept that he's very well versed with uh, the scriptures and that he spoke with authority. And that when he spoke, somehow they prob they were probably offended and they did not like the way uh, the message was uh, probably getting into their nerves. And so they decided that they do not welcome him in their town, in their country. So they sent him away. Okay. So somehow it, it relates to, you know, uh, modern age uh any age actually any time any period that uh whenever you sometimes a person would not be able to grow in the place where he was born because you know the people would judge him based on his background the family the parents what their family used to do and so they're like you're not going to break away from uh you know from history your family has always been this way, then you would also turn out this way, so something like that. 
So whenever someone uh, does something else, proves to be greater, then they expect that, so oh, there's envy, there's jealousy, and so uh, there would be rumors against them, there would be uh, gossip, so kind of uh, human nature again, you know, uh, believers and unbelievers. Alright, so that's it for day 86. Again, uh, for day 86, we read Judges chapter 1 to 3 and then Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 30. Thank you and God bless.